Well, hello guys, and welcome to Gina's Natural Way. Thank you so much for taking time out your day and stopping by and checking out my channel. You know if you're going to be doing it Gina's way, it's going to be the natural way. So on today, we are going to make homemade hand sanitizer. So none of that commercial stuff. You know, there's been a lot of talk of, you know, that, that the hand sanitizer is toxic and, you know, that there's different side effects and things that can happen just by using the hand sanitizer. You're thinking you're, you know, keeping it clean and you're not. But what we're going to make is non-toxic, it's moisturizing, and it's, it, it actually feels good. It don't dry your skin out. So take a little time when you get a minute and Google, look up what's in the, you know, hand sanitizer. It's something called triclosan, I think it's called. But go ahead and check that out so if we don't have to why do it so why don't we just take a little time out take maybe five or ten minutes and make this now let me tell you this is going to be pennies on the dollar maybe 30 cents to make you a nice little container so let's go over the ingredients you guys okay so first off you are going to need a container that can hold it something with a spray you're gonna need a teaspoon and a cup you're gonna need some sweet almond oil any brand will do. You're gonna need some vegetable glycerin. Also going to need some witch hazel or alcohol or vodka will do, but witch hazel is the best, okay? And you're going to need some aloe vera. Um, you can do aloe vera or the aloe vera gel. If you want yours to be gel, then you go ahead and use the gel. I just use the spray in either one would work just fine. Okay, and then go ahead, you do wanna add some tea tree oil, so you wanna make sure that you have the tea tree oil. Lavender for the scent, if you want to use lavender, you can use any scents you want. I just use cinnamon and lavender for the smell, but you don't even have to have a smell if you don't want to. Okay, so in your little spray bottle, you want to fill it almost up, I don't know, maybe three-fourths of the way. Um, so just depending on how big your container is. So what I did was I just put the witch hazel in there and I put about four ounces. And remember, you can adjust this according to what you need, but that's the witch hazel and I did about four ounces in there. Next thing I did, it was sweet almond oil and I did about a teaspoon. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, but I just like for my hands to be soft. I just don't like the way it feels when it's all kind of rough. Vegetable glycerin. I did a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. Once again, same thing. If you don't want to add that, you don't have to, but I do. It's just kind of makes your hands a little bit softer, okay? And then you want some aloe vera gel or the aloe vera liquid, okay? Um, and I just got that. I believe I got that from the health store, I believe. And then the lavender. I put about 10 drops, but you can put however much you want. How, if you want your, your smell to be strong you could put more if not you know then you don't have to same thing with the cinnamon um, I put about 10 drops of cinnamon in there now the one thing you do want to make sure that you add is the tea tree oil because that's something that helps disinfect and gets it clean is along with the witch hazel and everything else but you want to make sure that you're putting a good amount of that tea tree oil in there don't scamp on the tree tree oil guys okay and seriously that's it like it take minutes, give it a quick stir, pour it in the bottle, everything is in real time. And it took maybe, I don't know, three minutes to make this, right? So definitely give this a try, you guys. Um, all I did was pour it in that container, give it a nice shake up, and it, it turned out to be great. You know, that was almost filled up the whole bottle, it was a little bit left. Give it a quick shake, and then just go ahead and use it. And that was that will stay for a long time. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye. See you next time.